Hey coach, in this video we're going to be using newspapers to develop these movement skills. So this is some of the prep work that you'll need to do just before you use these in your practice. We're looking at how we can use a games approach to develop functional movement skills. And just here in the warm up, the objective is really simple. If you manage to hit your partner's piece of uh, newspaper sheet with the other bit of the newspaper scrunched up, you get a point. Now we're just loading this in by throwing with the non-dominant hand and also experimenting different techniques we can use to throw, maybe being on one leg. So there are lots of different progressions, lots of different loads you can add onto this, uh, make it fun for the kids. And you can see in this clip, this is a really good example of why the functional movement skills are so important and the players are really struggling, some of them, just to stay on balance on one leg. You can see they're taking lots of hops and what we spoke about was trying to remain rooted like a flamingo which is obviously the bird with one leg um, and these functional movement skills are something so critical for younger players and it's really important we develop these but the players are learning these in a fun way so then it's it's not necessarily apparent to them that they're working on all these important skills Next load is a slingshot catch with the partner using the newspaper to catch the newspaper ball. And this involves some bending. They might have to reposition themselves to, to receive the, the ball. So there are lots of different movements going on as part of this. And you can see here that the kids are having fun. And this is the most important thing we're working with mini basket kids of this age group. And on this one, he actually used his head to uh, head the, the newspaper ball into the sheet. Oh, top move. So now after that is uh, all the newspaper sheets are scrunched up into a tight ball and they're throwing the ball up and seeing as many claps as they can get while catching the ball but staying rooted to the floor. So they've got to try and keep both feet to the floor could maybe allow one step to catch it um, and we make it a competition see who can get the most claps you can also add in things such as a one hand catch only two hand catch etc now we're looking at different clap progressions so it's a clap in front clap behind and you got two steps which you're allowed to use to move to receive the ball Now we're adding in the basketballs and we're essentially using the newspaper ball as a tennis ball but with the advantage of if they lose it, it's not going to go rolling off. But we randomize it so as opposed to always doing the same things, they might do some different dribble combos as they throw the ball up in the air. So we're doing something different every time. Now you can see partner exchanges and it's fun and it encourages them to dribble and get the ball in their hands a lot while enjoying it at the same time. Now it's on the move. They have to make connections by using names to, to call and get someone's attention. Then they exchange a newspaper ball. And you can gamify this by doing something such as first to get five exchanges. Now we've got newspaper dodgeball. And uh, this is just something that kids really love. And normally I do this in pairs. The group being uh, filmed are three just because it was an odd number. But doing this in pairs just maximizes the time on task. If you get hit, you swap out. If you don't get hit, you just kick the newspaper ball back and stay in until you get a, get caught by the ball. Now we've added in the dribble and you can constrain the throwers by allowing them to uh, throw the ball with their dominant hand or it could be their non-dominant hand, which was actually something they struggled with. And players could also be doing combo dribbles as they wait so they're not just dribbling the ball uh, in the same hand. Last load being here, the thrower can fake and be deceptive um, as they throw the ball. Now the newspapers are not an activity for every practice, something once in a while that the kids will really enjoy.